Okay guys, we're going to do a little cut plug herring for Spring Chinook. I'll talk about the items that you're going to need and some advice that I have for you to cut plug specifically for Spring Chinook. So we're going to need a few things here. You need some rubber gloves. You guys should be wearing gloves when you're cutting your plug herring. Uh, these salmon, the springers, they can smell uh, parts per billion and you don't want any odors from your hands getting onto your herring. You guys need to use a jig when you're cutting your herring. Uh, there's a couple styles on the market today, inexpensive plastic, a little more spendy uh, aluminum. Uh, they both work very well, it just depends on how much money you want to spend. You need a knife to cut and you're also going to need some scissors. So we've gloved up, we're going to keep our scent off of our herring and we've got our jig here. You'll notice on the jig, one side says Chinook, the other side says Coho. The Coho side has a tighter angle to it, which causes the herring to spin tighter. When you're springer fishing, believe it or not, you want to cut on the Coho side. You want your herring to spin as tight as you can get it to spin. So I'm going to turn that side toward me so that I can cut this herring. I want to cut directly behind the gill plate of the herring. So I'm going to make my cut, pull my herring out, we'll set this aside and we'll look and we have a very nice cut right here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to take out the stomach contents because we don't want that in there. Okay, so let's get these stomach contents out. Now, we're gonna have water going into the stomach cavity. So we need to have a way for water to get out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go to the anal cavity and we're just gonna make a small slit in there. This slit will allow water to go through the stomach cavity and actually exit. Your herring will last a little bit longer, okay? We also need to clean this herring up. What I like to do is I like to get these dorsal fins off just trim those off, trim this bottom fin off nice and smooth, and then I'm going to cut a pennant in the back. And this is what I want my herring to look like, okay? And it's going to spin nice and tight, and it's going to look great. So the next thing we're going to do is let's, we're going to uh, get some hooks into this. Now, I'll cut plug all of my herring and I'll put it back in the brine until I'm ready to actually fish it. When I'm ready to fish, I literally pull my herring out of the brine. That brine has already toughened up the outside of the herring and with it cut plug, it's going to toughen it up even more on the inside, which means your herring's going to last longer because you're fishing very, very close to the bottom on the Columbia River. Uh, you'll literally pull your bait up and you'll see sand in the uh, cavity of your herring. So I'm going to put this back in the brine, but for today we're going to go ahead and get some hooks into it as if we were fishing. So I've got a hook set up here and what you're going to notice when I tie my hooks, I have them opposing. Uh, this is so that when uh, I get this herring hooked up, I have a hook facing the opposite way. I want to be able to uh, get these fish no matter what direction or how the hook may turn when they bite into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trailing hook and I'm going to insert it on the low side of the cut and I want it to come out around the lateral line. So I'm going to put that hook bend in there and I'm going to turn it out coming through the side of the belly. I'll go ahead and pull that through. Okay, now I'm going to take this top hook and I'm going to come up straight up next to the spine. And I'm going to hook that in the upward position. Now what happens here is as this hook setup is set in here, you're going to notice I have one hook up, I've got one hook down, and no matter where this fish hits, it should be hooked. Now notice, I like to put the eye of my hook closer to the rear of that pennant. Now, I don't want this hook setting up this far or, or right at the end of the tail. And I see a lot of guys do this. Just be cognizant of when you tie your leaders because if this fish comes up and hits short, 
I want that hook to get into them. Okay, so here you have it guys. This is cut plug herring. This is how to get it cut, how to get your hooks into it and fish effectively. Good luck on the Columbia River for springers.